This custom gaming PC represents over 600 hours of work and the full hardline water cooling setup barely scratches the surface. Look at this. It is beyond a doubt the most beautiful rig we have ever built, which means obviously we had a little help. Nerdforge is here! Hey! And we're gonna be showing them how to hardline water cool a system, as well as how to thank our sponsor, Seasonic, who made this collaboration possible. Let me put it this way. Flights from Norway, not cheap. No. Shout out Seasonic and shout out Nerdforge. You guys are gonna have a lot of fun with this one because you have only seen two sides of it. It gets so much better! How many hours do you have in this Pelican case? Well, two weeks, 12 hours a day for three people. Oh. I don't know, it's a lot of math. How many hours was your flight? Nine hours was the last flight and then two hours for the first oh. one. <laughs> so it's been shaking nicely. Let's... What's it like? A lot of foam. It seems fine so far. This is the front panel, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it seems fine, at least on first glance, but I don't know about the lights. And this is the even bigger part. I'm the sorry about all the foam. The hotel advance. sign seems to not be doing well. Oh no, well. I brought super glue, don't worry. We have a whole week. <laughs> yes. Oh, and there's people. Oh, he survived. It seems like most of the things are okay. Like even the screen. But we also have to test the lights though, to see that they work. Oh, should we do that right now? Yes. Is it all powered off of the SATA connector? Yes. So there's one for each panel. By the way, huge thank you, Seasonic. Plane tickets are not cheap because we're showing off their 1600 watt. We were able to afford it. It's arrived! Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so happy. Oh, the lanterns. Yes. It's my favorite how, part. <laughs> how did you program that? Lanterns. They're just fire LEDs, like these prefabricated fire ones. They have the flicker effect. And how is this done? <gasps> it's a photo frame, like a digital photo frame that we just kind of hijacked. Oh. The photo frame ran Android. I just basically bricked it, so it continuously runs the boot animation. <laughs> and I, the boot animation is what you're seeing. Yes. <laughs> so this is boot animation on repeat. I mean, it works. How does this... Uh, well, Get to that. I cut a hole in the mesh, oh, as okay. you're not supposed to do, no, probably. Fine. We take the front panel, and I'm kind of just lured it in there. Oh. <laughs> and then looped it over there, and hopefully we can like, cover it up with something nice. And then the side panel, we just lured it between here. And then stuck on the inside. And then if this is the same, we can just... Oh, it slots together like, uh, oh my uh, God. It looks better like this when it's like together. Do you want to start building a computer? <laughs> yes, let's go. EK, oh, <laughs> hooked us up with so much stuff for oh this. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but this is the first thing I see. Yeah, I think we have a couple options. Oh. I think they're all slightly different purples. I love purple. <laughs> we also have all of our cables. I didn't know you can get them in purple. <laughs> it matches my hair. <laughs> Reservoir, radiator. Also huge. Two more radiators, I think. Thank you. This guy right here, that's the mono block for the CPU. And oh my God, that's heavy. <laughs> and our GPU block. We also went with acrylic tubing. Your options are PETG and acrylic. Mm -hmm. PETG is easier to work with. Acrylic looks a little bit better. I went with acrylic. Always for the aesthetics. Yeah. I mean, I'm all for it. <laughs> First thing we have to do is remove this GPU water block and put on the other GPU water block. This one's perfectly okay. fine, this is from Alpha Cool. Should I do it? Yeah, you can do it. To be fair, I have built a PC once. This is the same thing, it's just, if you screw it up, it leaks and kills all your stuff. <laughs> it's really heavy. Yeah, what's on the back? Oh my God, it's a whole other block. I'm so afraid of ruining it. <laughs> you cannot do anything worse with this GPU than it's already been done. Ah, oh, very nice. I need that screwdriver because I keep losing my bits. Should I just like sure. eyeball it or? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, wow, I managed to cut something. <laughs> I just need to cover that up. Oh, it's very nice in a weird way. Does it have to be even? I think you're doing a better job than I would have done, so. Great, perfect. So pretty. There you go. <gasps> Your first water block GPU. Are we gonna be able to see the cooling liquid? Oh yeah. <laughs> Motherboard. Yeah, so there's a couple of things to note about this. For one, this board's like $1,200. It's like the most expensive motherboard you can buy pretty much, aside from like servers. Also, I've had my way with this CPU. It's full copper for one. And also the IHS just falls off. 
Is it supposed to do that? No, it's not supposed no. to do that. So we just need to like not touch it. And as long as we just like leave it in there, it's fine. Okay. Anyway, this is what needs to go on. That's gorgeous. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be a bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, this back plate, all these VRM coolers and stuff have to come off. Then it's similar to the GPU block. Thermal pads, stick this on. Why is this so scary? It's too little? I have no idea. <laughs> the comments can tell her. And how was oh, that? Oh no, thanks. It's probably too much. <laughs> I'll know for next time. <laughs> it's so pretty. We need a, it's so pretty counter. <laughs> Oh, no. oh, you kind of see where this motherboard's been wet before? Kind of see the water coming oh. all along here? Oh, no. That's from when we sub-zeroed it. <laughs> we have a rough plan for our loop, and I think it's going to look freaking sweet. Particularly, look at the size of this reservoir that we found. <laughs> we do have one problem, though. The 7000D, despite having, like, you know, cutouts right here for a vertical GPU, does not have an included PCIe riser for the GPU. Do you want to cut some holes in a case? Sure, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> that is terrifying. Ah, okay, it did work. Nice. Okay. Uh, safety glasses. You use safety glasses for drilling? <laughs> <laughs> I'll follow the rules. Do I look cool now? Yeah, 10 times more cool. Thank you. Cool, points added. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, it's scary. Okay, easy. Oh, nice. Do you know what, something that's really dumb mm -hmm. that I realized after you tapped it? This has a little bit on the top that's not threaded. So you didn't <laughs> need to tap it at all. <laughs> all right, we have a functional vertical mount now. PCI brackets in there, nice and good with their standoffs. You want to know the plan? Is the plan to have this actually screwed in all the way? Uh, well, it was pretty screwed in, but now, you can... Now it's screwed up. Yeah, we've got a couple pretty fun runs in this. So from here, the outlet of the pump, up, over, and into the GPU right here is gonna be pretty fun. What the hell, Alex? <laughs> and then from here, up over the RAM, and into this one also will be pretty fun. What the hell, Alex? Oh my god, they're totally not aligned, Alex. They're off by like at least six, seven mils. <laughs> you don't need the computer to look good, do you? I mean... <laughs> well, I guess let's get started, shall we? You should have gone to Jay's two cents. It might have <laughs> taken four years to get the finished build, but boy, would it ever look nice. You're gonna have a lot of difficulty making a 90 that's that tight. It would be way easier to freehand bend it from here up oh to there. Oh my god, it would not. It would! How many PCs have you water-cooled in the last couple of years? <laughs> really? You're gonna go there? Yeah. On camera? <laughs> yeah. Where does this damn open? I feel like go? I'm observing a married couple. <laughs> do you really think you can do that 90? Oh, I can do that. All 90. right, first one we're doing, that 90. Pro PC building tip. Mm -hmm. This is an excellent switch. Oh. So if he's bothering you, you just you grab one of these. Okay. This is a practice bend. This is going to take me two attempts. Basically, what we're doing is we are taking the hard tubing and we are making it soft. So we're showing it a picture of its grandma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay, when we can see that it's starting to get a little bit uh, flexible, we wanna make sure that we heat up more than just the exact area, and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a little 90-ish degree bend here. Oh God, I screwed it up so badly. You gotta make sure you heat it evenly on all sides, and you don't wanna get any bubbles in it. Alex may be right about the bend radius here. So you can see the, the tubing is still curved mm -hmm. when it's going in. Yeah. So we're not gonna get a good seal because it's been deformed. It's yeah. no longer perfectly round. But hold on, hold on. Everybody just calm down for a second here, okay? This is a lot more stressful than I thought. Relax. <sighs> okay. There is another option. See, mm -hmm. if we do that, it fits. Yeah. And then we can have a perfect 90 degree, well, not perfect, but we'll make a better one. Then though, hmm. But we could just make if, this one even bigger. Yeah. Right. What if that right. goes up right. and then down? Well, yeah, that could work. All right, I gotta do this again, but do it. slower. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're definitely gonna need higher temperature later. Crap, I really wish this bend wasn't like front and center. Whose idea was it to start with this one? It's also like one of the easiest ones, so. That's fair. Yeah, it kinked a little. Uh, let's put it in and see if you notice. Yeah, when you see it from the front, you can't even see it. I kind of want to take one more stab at it. 
Okay, Linus, yeah. we get that one in there. We see if we still have tubing left. <laughs> <laughs> so it needs to be a little shorter here. I would take this off mm. and I would put it on the belt sander, take off maybe a couple of millimeters. How's this side? It's pretty bad. Oh God. Oh, this side's much worse. <laughs> well, you can't do any worse than me. Let's go. Are you? I'm not so sure, but okay, which one do I do? Okay, so what about we do one bend first? We do the bend for right here. So we know that it clears, we get it in the correct spot. Then we do the second bend. It comes down into this. And then cut it? Yeah. Sure. Sorry. All right. Just remember, you couldn't possibly do any worse than me. As long as it's 45-ish, you're in pretty good shape. Make sure you get the underside too, though, otherwise it'll crumple up. That's looking pretty 45-ish to me. Yeah, you can really see the flaws when you pull out the thing. Oh, though. yeah. See, it's perfect. Oh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> now, our bend here is also quite flexible in terms of uh, where we put it. Mm. It just determines how uh, tight the angle will be. If we put it here, then it would need to be like a 90 degree. Makes sense. Right? Probably what you want is somewhere in between. So mm. somewhere around here. Yeah. Down like that. What we should also do at this stage is we can cut the piece. So we can cut it like here. It's an awful sound. <laughs> Truly. Okay, it's starting to go. loosen. Yeah. Now remember, same plane. Yeah, time to commit. This is less good than your last one, but still better than okay. mine. <laughs> Can I borrow this for just a sec? Yes. We're just gonna give her a little kind of... A little mm, wiggle? Yeah, a little wiggle. Wiggle it yeah, right in there. <laughs> we're trying, okay. <laughs> good enough? If it's good enough for you, it's good enough for me. Look, from, no, no, do you, you'll yeah, never well, look at it that way, that right? That is true. That See, is true. so how's that? Yeah, it's, it's nice. So now all we need to do is we just play around with exactly where we want it to kind of land. Mm -hmm. We are pretty darn close. Do you want to just double yep. check? That looks pretty good. Does that look pretty good? Okay, yeah. go ahead and so mark it. And half centimeter extra. Yeah. If you'll even be able to see that. I got it, I got it, I got oh, it, nice. I got it. Okay, so you can see right now they're both seated mm -hmm. and it goes down that way a little bit. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So this is a perfect opportunity for us to make fine adjustments with the belt sander. Yeah, let's just take off like that. Right. So when that's gone, we're done. Should probably try to keep it like as straight as possible, I assume. Ideally. Yeah. Beautiful. That's all? So yeah. now we'll just pick the bits off. There. Uh, oh. That's much better. What? Perfect. Oh. Freaking nailed it. Nice. Uh -huh. You know what? I think her screwing up the plane of the bend actually worked in your favor. It comes out, I think it corrects it a little bit. It was the plan all along. Can I take another crack at my 90? Do I get I, another shot of I it? I really think we should just not do it that way. Think about how hard this one's going to be if we have to go up and over. Hear me out. A 90 and a 90, and we just go straight over. And we do another extension here. Then we only have to do 190. Sure. Basically, this is what I have in mind though. Then we just come out like that. So let's see if I can put all I've just learned to use there and then add a couple extra centimeters. Nice. Make sure to keep moving like horizontally oh, as right. well. Right. Oh, close. It is looking very good. I think it's like slightly more than 90. Oh, you can really tell it's not 90 degrees. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Huh? Oh, that looks so much better. Maybe this. Ah, this is why you save these graphs. I think that's good. It's a little bit like leaning, but close enough. You can't see it from the front. Not bad. Eh? Do you think happy. it leaks? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we haven't probably like tightened everything yet, but I am kind of curious if we just, you know, pump it up a little bit. Will it stay? Oh! Well, that was fast. We'll try it again with less pressure. <laughs> okay. Just leave it. This has gone a lot better than I expected. We have a water-cooled system that doesn't leak. That's pretty what, good. What should we do? <laughs> <laughs> we could do some painting. Like this part, maybe? Make it match the outside. Can I learn how to paint? Yeah. We, we did an LMG paint night and mine was definitely the worst. I know. <laughs> All right, we have the insides of the computer figured out. So we took them all out 
And now we're going to make this, you know, fit with the rest of all the stuff that they've done. What's really exciting is we can finally use our sandblaster for something. Yes. Oh. <laughs> we had a little test piece here. It looks freaking sweet. And by opening up the top, we can fit this whole case inside. It's gonna look awesome. Yes. <laughs> Turn it on up there. You have two gloves in here. Foot pedal to spray the sand around. Okay. It just simply recirculates, so spray the thing, sand collects down below. Oh. And then you just blast everything. Yeah. These gloves are way too large. Ah, oh, there we go. That is so satisfying, oh my God. In hindsight, sandblasting, that was a terrible idea. Uh, so we have finished beads. They take forever to strip paint. Also the painting on there, powder coating, Really good and durable. Thank you, Corsair. Also, our air compressor, not able to just flat out sandblast for a while, especially when you're laser cutting at the same time. So it's five hours later. Totally worth it though. It looks so much oh, better. Yeah. I don't know why, but it looks so violent. Now that we have it nice and shiny, let's make it dirty again. Oh, beautiful. Yes. What is this? It's just a mix of black paint and water. Spray the whole thing, uh, grab some paper towels and dab it off again. Cover it just completely. Completely? Yeah. But we just made it not black. Yes. And now we're gonna make it black, we're going to take it off again. I know this seems very wrong, but it's gonna be nice. This does seem very wrong. So now, just grab a bunch of this, and then we can just like dab it off again. We're gonna take off like almost everything, but just give it some nice texture. It's kind of like a time attack thing too, because you gotta get it off before it dries completely. I kind of like this Yeah, level, I kind of like it there. Because it's like, if we go too much darker, it just becomes black again. Yeah, it becomes, why did we spend five hours sandblasting it? What was the paint we used? It's a super matte black paint from Stuart Sample. While we were doing the sandblasting, we also had another thing in the oven. This right here is our cable management cover. We know that all of you are going to be commenting, oh, Cyberpunk, the game, the game's not fair. Cyberpunk's a whole aesthetic, not just a game. So we wrote three paragraphs about it. Final step, dry brushing. It's super simple. You just grab a brush and apply as little paint as possible. And then you just like dab it on, on like the high points. And then you get some nice, like edge lighting. <laughs> the only like scary part is getting too much paint because then you get streaks and you don't want streaks. Kind of work it in to your brush, get it off, and make sure there's almost nothing on it. I can't even tell. Oh, is that too it's much streaks? Real good. But if, if you get streaks, you can also just like wipe it off with your finger. It's the best tools. <laughs> like that? Yeah, perfect. Just like really ram it in. And don't use a brush you like for this because it's gonna go. Ooh, nice. The highlights help so much, even though they're so subtle. I have a bit too much in here somewhere. Yeah, just wipe it. If you don't have paint all over your hands after this, you've done it wrong. <laughs> just look at this. That looks awesome. I think you did a great job. Oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, there's a lot to do here. Today, all that we have to do to get this done is reassemble the case, install the components, put fancy washers on the radiators, wire the Corsair RGB, engrave the side panel, reinstall the hard line, do the cables, cable management, fill the loop, post the computer, update Windows, do the RGB software. <laughs> While the computer is working just fine. <laughs> this is great. We went to plug in the RGB header on the inside, which just fell off and uh, that's a lot of water. That is a lot of water. I guess, did it disconnect right here? Yeah, it did. That's the outlet of the pump. So what we've done, we've swapped out some of the fittings. Unfortunately, these ones are Alpha Cool. They aren't quite color matched, but they do have two O-rings. I don't want to be clear here that Alpha Cool's fittings are inherently better than EK's. I just specced out these super low profile ones because I thought that they looked cool. And I was a bit concerned that they wouldn't be as good at holding tubes in, and I was correct. Only use these if you really need to. Everything's dried off now though. So all that we have to do is a bit of cable management. It's uh, not as tidy around here. I absolutely hate RGB. This is all RGB, that's all RGB. This is RGB, that's our... <sighs> we filled the loop last night, let it go for a while, came back, pump wasn't working. Fortunately, when I went to go and drain it, I did one last little click of the pump and it sprayed water all over the place. You can see the water on the ground right here, which means the pump's working and we can finally put this together for once and for all. So, say your tagline, please. Let's have a look at the final result. Finally. <laughs>
carry bikes. Need for speed. That looks so good. <gasps> did you make this? Uh, it's 3D printed, but it's hand painted, yes. How did you paint the ones in the back? <laughs> okay, please tell me you took some shortcuts, like all these air conditioners, right? Like, did you hand paint every fan blade? Everything is hand painted, yes. Why? <laughs> I mean, it's incredible, don't get me wrong, but like... Aesthetic. It's still the aesthetic. Oh my God, it goes around the front too. This oh, yeah. is so cool. <laughs> and this is not a display. You just, I guess, yeah. have a technique for... Yeah, oh, it's yeah, just okay, printed just an, plastic. You've just got like a nice diffuser layer in there, I yeah. guess. <laughs> <laughs> it loops around, it loops around. Uh -huh, of course it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love these nice little touches to give it that kind of true to life look, like the little aluminum foil bits here. Excuse me, aluminum. Yeah. Foil European. How did your tubing bends work out? Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, if you look? go around, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. okay. Well, should I turn it or should we walk around? We can walk How around. fragile is it? Uh, it's sort like, of fragile. Like, this is old cardstock, so you can, like, oh, you can what? hit it. What? Did you just, like, carve this or what? Uh, this is just takeaway boxes. <laughs> like Shut the pattern up. here, yeah. Oh, I love the side panel. Right. Well, did we left the peel on, though. Is yeah, that on it's, purpose? It's for you. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. This looks awesome! How are you so much better at bending tubing than me? You've done it like four times! <laughs> wow, I love the dye color. You know, there's a lot of really talented PC modders out there. It's like this micro niche. Mm. Whereas if you take the, the miniature scene, which is much bigger and are like, Okay, you super talented people build a PC. I guess this is what you end up with. Well, we combine our powers, right? Next level, man. It wouldn't have been this good on the inside without Alex. This is like the coolest computer I think I have ever seen. That is the biggest compliment. <laughs> Show him the essay. The oh. essay? <laughs> yes. <laughs> as much as I respect, I already agree with you. <laughs> CD Projekt Red and their ambitions with Cyberpunk 2077. I dislike how the game has become the de facto standard for the cyberpunk aesthetic. I'm sure this would be okay if the game wasn't a steaming pile of excrement on release, but unfortunately it was. Oh, did you did you write this? Um, uh, the bottom part, Alex wrote the rest. Yeah. <laughs> how the hell are you guys gonna take this back with you? Uh, we're not. It's staying here. Forever. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh my God, that is so generous. So why don't we just hold on to it until we do LTX 2023 and then why don't we auction it for charity? Sure. Does that work for everybody? That's amazing. You guys are invited, of course. We'll be happy to cover awesome. your airfare. Because this is this is like a piece of PC building history. I think, I think it would be really, really cool. And by the way, don't feel any pressure. If you can't make it out, that's fine. I'm sure we'll be able to. Whatever works for you, but I would be, I'd be honored if you came out and were, were there to, to kind of see us send it off in style. That'd be amazing. Okay. Yeah. You know what else is amazing? This message from our sponsor. <laughs> hey, hey, got him. It's a full sponsored <laughs> video by Seasonic. Oh, right, Seasonic. Man, how cool is Seasonic? They <laughs> right? sponsor all the coolest stuff lately, man. Yeah. They offer up to 12 year warranties, up to 80 plus titanium efficient power supplies, and you can check them out at the link down below. It's a new power supply, 1600 watts. Oh, wow, they have a 1600 watt unit now. Is that the unit that's featured in here? Yeah. Yep. Well, that's fortunate because with the rumored power draw of uh, upcoming GPUs, we need something that's gonna be ready for them. <laughs> Thank you so much for building this. This of is incredible. Course. Are you a hugger? Yeah, I you am. Are. Okay. <laughs> This has been so much fun to build. And yeah, I'm just super happy to be a part of this. I love honestly. it. 